Alabama is a permitless carry state. What does that mean? On April 15th, four people were killed and at least 32 others were injured during a shooting at a Sweet 16 birthday party in Dadeville, Alabama. And the story of why this tragedy occurred is still developing. Gun laws and opinions differ drastically across the U.S. And this recent shooting has put Alabama under a microscope. Where do the state's lawmakers stand? On March 10, 2022, Alabama Governor Kay Ivey signed into law House Bill 272, which allows anyone aged 18 or older who is deemed legally eligible by federal and state law to carry a concealed firearm without a permit or background check. The governor has long been a proponent of the Second Amendment and incorporated the constitutional carry law into her re-election campaign. The law went into effect across Alabama on January 1, 2023. Supporters of permitless carry point to some purported safety measures. For example, the federal and state restrictions that dictate who is not allowed to own a firearm have not changed. Additionally, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency has developed a firearm prohibited person database, which allows officers to search and confirm whether a person owns a gun legally. ABC News' reporting on the database shared constitutional carry opponents' concerns that the system isn't foolproof and gaps in information are possible. There are currently 26 states in the U.S. that do not require their residents to obtain a permit before carrying a concealed firearm. 